So by now you know that yes, I did make the decision to leave React along with some of my fellow cast members, and this is my second time leaving the channel. Normally I would not discuss the circumstances surrounding my departure, but in this case I do have to speak up and there are some things that I do need to clarify. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you've probably seen my statement where I mentioned that it was recently brought to my attention that the brothers co-wrote and directed a series of videos in which one of them appeared in blackface. Now, when I found out about these, I was just disgusted and I was hurt because I had literally just participated in a video on their channel where I was asked to share my story among many other black reactors. Some of the people who brought these blackface videos to my attention were under the impression that I knew about these blackface videos and the fact that they didn't acknowledge them or apologize about them publicly before I participated in this Black Lives Matter video. And I'm here to clarify with you that that is not the case. I had no idea about these and like I said, when I found out, I was just shocked. Because they hadn't acknowledged or publicly addressed or apologized for these videos up until last night, I felt that I was used for performative activism and that does not sit right with me. I also mentioned in my statement that prior to this video being released, I sent an email to FBE asking for their support in whatever negativity or hate would come my way as a result of speaking out about my experience as a black person again on the channel and I received no response. The reason why I sent this email is because I have talked about my experience being a black person in previous episodes and there was one where I did get a lot of hate. I got a lot of death threats and one death threat that I actually had to take seriously because the person knew my address. So I told the staff about this. I told them about the death threats. I told them about the hate that I was getting and the fact that I had to file a police report and I still got no support. I had to handle everything on my own. Eight hours after I posted my statement on my social media and well over 24 hours after emailing something really similar led FBE know that I was leaving, Benny and Rafi did post a statement on their social media. A few hours after this, in the middle of the night, I did receive an email from the CEO of FBE, who I've never met before. I still have not received an apology or anything from Benny and Rafi directly acknowledging this to me, addressing this towards me, and apologizing to me. I have not heard from them personally. The fact that they haven't felt the need to reach out to me or to apologize to me directly feels like a kick in the face, especially because of the fact that I started at FBE eight and a half years ago on the very first episode of Teens React. I started out when the channel was still in its infancy stages. The channel was not what it is right now. We literally filmed in their apartment and I was not getting paid. I started with them from pretty early on in the channel. I do want to iterate that this whole situation is way more than blackface. The blackface is the tip of the iceberg. That said, blackface is America's most stereotypical form of racism. It is deeply rooted in racism starting centuries back. I will include a link down below where you can read more about the history of blackface. No matter what context blackface is done in, it is a racist act and is not acceptable. This whole thing is also about the fact that I have been ignored now and back when I had to deal with these death threats on my own. It's also about the fact that so many former staff members and cast members have bravely spoken out and reached out to me privately about how they were mistreated during their time at the company as people of color and or women and other people who have witnessed their mistreatment. All of the reactors and staff from the beginning have helped build FBE to what it is now and every single person at that company, whether they're in front of the camera, behind the camera, in corporate, whatever their position may be, they deserve to be seen and heard and respected and treated equally. There are so many awful things that I've heard from former staff members and cast members over the last 24 hours that shocked me and this is why I'm speaking out. These are the reasons why I'm being vocal. In the Fine Brothers statement last night, all they talked about was the blackface. They didn't talk about these other things that the former staff members have been talking about publicly on Twitter and Instagram, and the other things that people have been telling me about privately. I want to make it clear that I'm not here to cancel anybody or anything. I'm all about accountability and progress, and I truly hope that the proposed changes in Benny and Rafi's statement last night are adhered to. I hope that they come to fruition, and I hope that they follow through with it, because actions do speak louder than words. That's all I have to say for now, but thank you so much for all of your support, because it really means a lot to me. Don't forget to always stand your ground and know your worth. Bye.